So welcome to this series of lectures on quantitative methods of research. We will revise some of the things that we have talked about already in the qualitative methods of research uh, in this first lecture, particularly focusing on what is research, what is scientific inquiry, and then we would go on to point out to the advantages of a quantitative method in building up data in scientific inquiry. So what is research? Research is a scientific systematic inquiry into a phenomenon. Systematic is scientific. That you can reproduce what someone has done or what someone claims that they have done. And that makes it systematic. And systematic also means it is scientific and science has some characteristics. So what is science? Science is a systematic inquiry into anything, but science has some characteristics. First of all, science is empirical. Science, scientific arguments are based on empirical evidence. Unlike philosophy, which is based on logical evidence, and which is valid as well. But uh, science uh, believes that empirical evidence has the strength of reproducing itself and that someone else using the same methods will arrive at the same results. The second characteristic of science is that it is cumulative, that we don't reinvent the wheel. Uh, science builds on itself. And in terms of research, because science is cumulative, we have literature review. What do we do during literature review? We are basically looking at what we know already and on that basis to know what we do not know about this particular phenomenon. And therefore, then it justifies the proposed study. The th uh, third thing about science is that it is reliable that a scientist who claims that he or she arrived at a particular conclusion using particular method, uh, then uh, someone else using that same method with the same population will produce the same results. And the fourth characteristic of science is that it is public. Uh, unlike uh, religious experience, where well, that is basically a private experience, uh, science is public. A scientist makes their finding public and it withstands the test of time. It withstands the critique of colleagues or peer, it withstands peer review. And so that is science. Now, science uh, uses empirical data, as we have said, and empirical data can come from just narratives of people uh, with regard to their perception and experiences. But even these experiences and perceptions can be reduced to numbers. So what is quantitative research? Quantitative research basically reduces everything to numeral data. What is the advantage of numeral data? It, uh, it is objective. We can't talk about uh, an African number, uh, an Asian number, or an European number. If I say there are two chairs lying there, then everybody understands what that two means. And therefore, that is the advantage of quantitative data. Second advantage of quantitative data is that it gives us a room to handle a large set of data. Because we are not talking about a large text here, as it is the case in qualitative method. Because we have reduced everything to numbers, numbers are uh, easy to handle in terms of quantity. Uh, volume of numbers can be handled. And these days we have the advantage of the computer that can help us do this. So, what are the characteristics of quantitative research? First of all, quantitative research uses a large sample size. In qualitative research, we use a small sample size and we go into depth. Whereas, in quantitative data, we take a large sample. Often, this sample is uh, 
randomized sample and we are able to see patterns in this large data and then point out to certain theory, uh, develop a certain theory out of the patterns that we see in the large data. The second important characteristics is that when we think in terms of quantitative research, we are thinking in terms of how do I reduce this to a measurable unit? How do I reduce this to numbers? So, qualitative research deals with textual data, whereas quantitative data, quantitative research deals with numeral data. The third characteristic of quantitative research is that it is based on observable external factors. We may not go into the experience of individuals, but when the experience express this, then we ask ourselves, can this experience be quantified in terms of numeral values? And the fourth characteristic is that uh, quantitative data can explain phenomenon, explain in terms of cause and effect. Whereas qualitative data generally explores the phenomenon. It can only describe the phenomenon. Whereas quantitative data has an advantage of establishing a relationship between two variables, particularly that we can really tease out, we can really separate the cause from the effect. And the advantage of separating the cause from the effect is that we can control problems, we can solve problems, we can control effects. And that is the advantage of quantitative data. And so welcome to this series of lectures on quantitative research.